Welcome back to this playthrough for Wing Commander 4. In the last video I was quite mistaken about that being the last mission because I guess I just forgot that N4 existed as far as the, uh, the mission structure here. Or maybe I just can't read. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, now we are doing what is called O1 and that one should go into O2 which is the final segment of the game. So without further ado, let's finish the first playthrough Wing Commander 4. It looks like you go straight to a briefing. General, the Admiral has given us the slip. It's only in all the cards now. If we even make a move toward Earth and Force, it will only lend credence to its case that the border worlds are on the warpath. I understand you got a look at Tarwin's Black Lance operations from the inside. Yes, sir. The way I see it, if there's any hope of stopping this war declaration, you're going to have to head to the assembly yourself and tell these politicians what you know. Problem is, you're a hostile in this aspect. No doubt Tywin is alerted Terran security. You'll face substantial automated lunar and Terran-based defenses. You got your work cut out for you, Colonel, but I have faith that you can do it. Good luck. Thanks. You can do it. Hey, good luck. Hope you don't die. <laughs> Alright, see what we got here. Oh, right, let's look at the kill board. Aha! Okay, yeah. Now, some of those, a lot of those may be uh, when I went to Invulnerable and played ramming speed with him. Fair enough. Bring me back a ship as clean as you did last time and I'll show you what old pliers can do. Alright. I'll try old pliers. Dang you, Tolwin. Coming for you. Time to finish what we started, Colonel. You're on the wrong side. Standing with humanity's past instead of its future. <laughs> Guess that makes sense, since you're nothing but a symbol of the past. Fight hard, Colonel. I hunger for a true challenge.
The assembly is in session. Today we honor a man who has dedicated his life to the protection and defense of humanity. And we congratulate him on his promotion to his new post. Space Marshal Tolwyn. Esteemed Senators, um, thank you for bestowing this honor upon me and for allowing me to speak to you before you cast your momentous vote. Well, we can no longer ignore the obvious. The border worlds wage war against us and we do nothing but issue decrees. We can no longer turn a blind eye. Let me lay out for you some of the more egregious transgressions that have been committed against innocent Confederation civilians. Yes, a formal declaration of war is a very terrible thing. It should not be undertaken unless all options have been exhausted. And I'm afraid to report to you that that is the case. We did not fight the Kilrathi for decades just to have an infection hollow us out from the inside. If there is a cancer amongst us, we must cut it out now. I urge you to vote yes on this declaration. Thank you. Seize the moment. There is a cancer that needs to be cut out. Seize that man! But it's not on the frontiers of the galaxy, but right here before you! Well, come. This is the great hero of the Kilrathi War, who has betrayed the Confederation and now fights for the Union of Border Worlds. I fight as I always have. On the side of peace and honor. Please, Paladin, hear me out. If any man has earned the right to a hearing, it is Colonel Blair. Let him speak. What price freedom, Admiral? I come here to tell you the truth. The truth about what's really happening on the outer fringes of civilization. Please, Colonel. You insult me as well as everyone else here. Do you really believe that this chamber is that ignorant? Two can play that game. You're not sucking me in. Right, let's try this one. No, Admiral. I don't believe anyone here is ignorant, least of all you. Thank you. I simply seek to shed new light on events. The border worlds have fallen victim to a plot, which if allowed to proceed will make all of humanity a victim. Well, I suppose there is a strange logic in that. <laughs> well, um, please continue, Colonel. Dance around him. Confront him. Okay, sure. Do you deny Admiral having anything to do with the troubles on the frontier? Only my efforts to end the troubles to maintain law and order. Law and order. Control. Maintaining the status quo, that's what this is all about. Harmony among men is a secondary issue. Harmony is maintained through control. He's mad with power. He'll trip himself up. Was it Harmony that made me, as a confed pilot, party to the theft of a Border Worlds laboratory and the outright abduction of a Border Worlds bioconvergence chemist? How you interpret operations, Colonel, is of no consequence. Your job as a soldier is to carry out orders without question. Without question. 
Have any of you questioned the Admiral about his Black Lance forces? Marshal, what are these Black Lance forces he's referring to? An elite force of men that I have assembled to protect our galactic interests. And these forces are stationed at a star base in the Axia system, isn't that right? Well, it is my duty to station forces where they may be needed. And the Black Lance have some extraordinary equipment at their disposal. Effective soldiers require effective tools. Like bioweapons. Would you qualify the Gen Select bioweapon as an effective tool, Admiral? This assembly has never approved the development or use of a biotech weapon. As with any experimental device, I would, of course, have brought it to your attention as soon as it neared readiness. I think the people of Telamon know just how ready it is. The few that are left can speak of a weapon that selectively kills anyone whose physical or, or mental attributes don't measure up to someone's predetermined standards. Telamon's tragedy is still under investigation. But I have no doubt it'll prove to be the doing of the border world's thugs. Yes. The skies are just full of criminals, aren't they, Admiral? It appears so. And hundreds of thousands of innocent lives have been lost in pursuit of these phantoms. Attack tall one. Tell them more. Admiral, do you believe the strong always survive? With every fiber of my being. Is that why the head of the Black Lance forces is a product of the genetic enhancement program? That program was canceled years ago. He's more of a warrior than you will ever be, Colonel. He is excellence personified. He is... He is dead. He is symbolic of all that we will achieve in the future. What is the expense of these achievements, Admiral? The lives already lost to your Black Lance forces? The millions more who will die if this assembly votes for war? Space Marshal Talwin believes that our victory over the Kilrathi was a fluke. That we as a race need tinkering with, engineering. If a few billion die along the way, well, they weren't worthy anyway. Why can't we be more like the Kilrathi, addicted to conflict, the only meaning to life being found in death? Tell us all, Admiral. Is that the price of freedom? Mankind was at his zenith when fighting the Kilrathi. Now our society is crumbling. We have no goals, no focus. We've grown complacent and confused. Who will protect us when the next race tries to dominate us? Who can tell where that threat will come from and when? No, we must be prepared. Progress only comes through struggle. Fighting keeps us fit. Conflict ensures our readiness and our survival. The Kilrathi understood this. They endured for millions of years, and so shall we if we continue fighting. If we continue to perfect our methods of killing. I think we've heard enough. The assembly will now vote.
there will be no war with the border worlds. This tribunal is now in session. That man has undermined everything. Justice! You saw the results? This tribunal finds you guilty of crimes against humanity. Space Marshal Tolwyn's appeal was denied today. Tolwyn is now slated for execution tomorrow. Jeffrey Tolan didn't kill himself. So here you are, an instructor. Not a general or a senator. And he could have had everything. Everything means I keep flying. So if you ask me, I've got everything. I envy you, Lenny. At times, I wish I'd made the same choice myself. So how's that farm? <laughs> I'm not a farmer. I'm talking about rolling a farmer, not a fighter. Oh, yeah, sure, you, you know. Rolls in training. Of I'm... all people, Maniac taught me one thing. Well, hey, pal, uh, Senator, I... What, what? Well, you said either you're an earthworm or an eagle. I said that? <laughs> hey, Colonel! We got a fresh batch of newbies to shake down. They can wait a bit. I think I'll log some flying time. Uh, Senator, about the flying to yeah. Shut up. That's the end of uh, Wing Commander 4. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the uh, the different good ending is. But that's one thing I'll basically uh, attempt to sort out in future videos. Until then, I guess I'll go ahead and let the credits play. And um, basically, thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.